Hello friends, let me catch you up a little lot on what's been going on because I didn't want to just keep posting like, and here's the next day, and here's the next day, because nothing was really happening. We were kind of in that in-between phase of the island story. Um, so I did a stream the other day and um, I'm just going to kind of talk you through. I was very excited for Leaf to finally turn up because I am obsessive about shrubs. I did obviously buy some other things. Oh, do you know what? I don't think I bought carrots. I didn't. I should have, but I didn't. I bought flowers because I am trying to cross pollinate. Now I did incorrectly think that I could have orange mums and I've been trying to cross pollinate orange mums that don't exist. So there's that, but we're going to ignore that. Mostly I was buying pink azalea stars because until we get to the period where we get to the three stars and I can get paths, I use shrubs to kind of create pathways all over the island. And so that's pretty much what I was doing. By this point, I have shrubs on the island. It's very exciting, but this was like day one. Look at that beautiful path. Loving it so much. I also spent some nook miles on the, um, what's it called? Ultimate pocket stuffing. So I have all of the space in my pockets now, which is particularly exciting because we're going to start doing some, I was going to say island tours, but they're not island tours yet, are they? We're going to start doing some villager hunts. I've also got some more villagers, which I'll show you throughout this video. One of them was a, another automatically generated one, which I don't even understand, but I'll tell you when we get there. Um, oh, and I finally sold my turnips, which I always want to call pumpkins, but they're turnips. I finally got to a number that was higher than I bought them for. And I've kind of come to the conclusion that 106 is too high to buy at. I'm not going to just not do the turnip, the stalk market, but it stressed me out so much that I just sold them as soon as it was more than 106. On that day, I was expecting the first campsite villager to arrive, or the visitor, sorry, but they didn't. So I waited until the next day and this is me going to see the first visitor. I can't go and meet our campsite visitor holding an ax. That's a little bit too menacing. Oh, look at the little shrubs there growing. Oh, I can't get enough of the shrubs. I cannot get enough. Also, maybe we can buy enough stuff from Abel to get the shop, because I did buy a lot of stuff the first time she came. <sighs> right. Just think positive thoughts. Don't be blue. I don't know what kind it needs to be. It's not going to be a jock, because we've already got a jock. Oh, it's going to be weird, isn't it? <gasps> okay! Oh, Eugene! Oh, I'm trying to think how he fits in. Could he be a summer villager? Do you know, I'm actually, I'm not, he's probably the best campsite villager that you have to have that I've ever got. A koala is summer, right? I mean, Eugene's got kind of like a, a koala if koala was in Greece kind of vibe. Let's run over to Tom Nook, see what he's got to say. And then it's probably about time we really settled on which part of the island is going to be summer, spring, etc, etc. I actually started making some DIYs last night to decorate the island since we've got to get that three stars. We've got to get that three stars. And DIY decor is one of the many ways to get there. I've done it. I've done it already. Are you just going to give me the house kits? I feel like you must just give me the first one. Yeah, so let's just take a little look at the map, shall we? Uh, as previously mentioned, the bit that truffles in at the top is going to be winter. That's the only bit that I feel... No, that's going to be winter. And the bit in the middle, this is going to be autumn. These ones, not these ones, these ones are up for grabs. Because neither of these people are going to live in spring or summer anyway. They're winter villagers. I think I decided that the area that the campsite was on was going to be summer. So this section of the island. What do we think? That is definitely a smaller section than the other. Which one do we want to focus on? Do we think summer has got the more decor stuff? Or do we think that spring has? Spring is flowers, and so we need more real estate for flowers. Yeah, okay. 
Well, if I'm gonna commit to the left side of the island, it's summer, then I'm gonna place his plot not too far away from where he's camping right now, I suppose. Maybe I could put him up on a ledge in the interest of not destroying my resources. Funnily enough, I have started putting some random bits of deco around and I already did put some stuff up here. It's that weirdly fated that I had placed them things almost as if the camper might be here, even though it's nowhere near the campsite. Uh, let me just look at the map again. Yeah, because where Philbert is, I will have another villager there. So let's put him here. I want everyone to have their own good amount of space. Yep, looks good to me. I did, I did. I found the place. I now want to see whether or not I get to talk Island of Owls with Isabel or if that's tomorrow. No, no Island of Owls yet. Okay, so now I have to decide. I suppose it might be time to start on ramps. I've got a way around the entire island now on the lower level. So maybe it's ramp time. I think I'm gonna do natural ramp because it just makes sense. I'm going with like the cheapest ones. I wanna get as many inclines and bridges as possible. And it does fit in with like the natural vibe. I think really the natural ramp I like the most of them all it just kind of fits in. Whereas the bridges I, f I have a harder time. I do really like the brick and the wooden bridges. They look really cool. So at some point I may upgrade the bridges. Speaking of new bridges, oh, fine, fine, fine. I am trying to connect, connect, collect all of the reactions. As I usually ignore them, I just run away from them until they stop chasing me. Um, yeah, let's go check out my new bridge. I've got lots of flowers going and someone pointed out that you can't make orange mums. And I was really betting on that. <laughs> and I completely forgot you can't have orange mums. Right, so this is my new ramp. Isn't it gorgeous? And I'm, not my ramp, my bridge. And I'm thinking it will lead to a ramp here because that will then take us up to the new place. I don't really wanna like destroy this tree though. So let's get the fruit and put that tree in my pocket. I will replace it once I've put the ramp down because I don't have that many apple trees. Although maybe I should plant some of these apples. Apples kind of feels wintry to me. Maybe it's snow white, snow, winter, apples. Anyone else? Or like, is it actually a wintry fruit? Uh, right, let's get the incline. Should I reserve this spot for an actual ramp? Yes, that is the beautifulest, most beautifulest place for a ramp ever. That is perfect. So we like run along straight up the ramp. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And then we can get to our new villager home. Uh, right, last quick thing I want to do is ramps up here is um ramp bridge is speak to able buy some stuff and see if we get any further along to placing the able oh it's mabel it's not able the able sisters is what i'm thinking i'm just gonna buy as much as i can afford to buy oh i didn't have enough money well i bought everything i could Let's see what the nook brothers have got i also may sell some of the things i just bought from mabel because a lot of it was not my vibe i'm just buying things to progress that that along a little hmm. sold for a lot less than i paid they didn't really have a lot i might come back for the hamster later uh but that's kind of it that's everything for today i just wanted to kind of see what was what we've got our new camper and they will be with us on the island tomorrow in their new home which led us to the next day and finally we've got our campsite visitor who have come to live on the island we'll go and visit him in a minute um but this is like the trigger for the thing i've been waiting for finally they're like oh what we need to do is we need to get 
<laughs> this island looking great so that KK will come and do a concert. How do we do that? Well, we have to evaluate the island and see how many stars we've got. Yay! Every single day, I go and check out Isabel and be like, yeah, you know, is it, is it time? Is it time? And it's not been time, but today it is time. Uh, so the first thing is Tom Nook wanted me to start selling some land, which I'll show you in a second. I sold some land. I got a bit excited. I sold some land thinking the next day I'd be able to do a villager hunt because we already had a new villager moving in anyway. I thought I'd have time. No, no, but I'll show you that in a second. So Isabel has um, officially started polling the island villagers. Uh, and apparently we're a one star island, which is, you know, it's not great. It's not zero stars, but it's not three. You know, one star is not terrible. We just need two more. I have already started improving the island, but at least we're at the point where we've got our evaluations now. That's, you know, we've got a place to start. Oh, look at my beautiful dress. Also my hedges. My hedges that have made the paths. It's gonna look so cute when they flower. Uh, right, first of all, let's go and visit our new island resident. Is he called Eugene? Oh my God, the house! Do you know what? That house makes me feel like maybe I should keep all the houses as they are. Because usually I do all Happy Home Paradise to the point where I can change all my villager houses, but maybe I shouldn't do that. Look how cute he is. He's such a cool dude. He kind of reminds me of that um, kind of mobster hamster that I used to have on my previous island. I can't remember his name, but I liked kind of the, the lore of the island being that he was the gangster that kept everything in check he was like the muscle so maybe eugene can stay although he was kind of an auto fell and he wasn't who i picked maybe he could fit in somehow uh, then let me show you what else i did because it was so stupid i just i got excited i wanted to place another house and i thought because eugene was moving in overnight i would have more time but it auto filled wouldn't you know let's just see who it was i saw this morning when i was playing but i can't remember here Brofina, Brofina. Let me just double check what Brofina looks like. Let me have a little look. Because I haven't seen. Oh my God, why? No, absolutely not. Why do they always have to be terrible? Under no circumstances would I ever choose Brofina. No offense, Brofina, but you do not meet the vibe check of Mystic. It's just gonna be a no. Just another day, another disappointment. Uh, oh, also, I think I got another, did I get another incline or did I place the incline this morning? No, I placed it this morning. It's all just melting into one day at this point. Um, okay, fine, fine, fine. Right, I am not placing any more houses until I have time to do the island villager hunt, like, for as long as I need to, to make sure I get not Brofina. <sighs> I'll see you when I can do that. Mm -hmm.